So I started my morning off with making a to-do list because I don't know about you guys, but to-do lists make me very productive. I feel like I need to check everything off. Some things I included were things to get organized for my last quarter of nursing school. So I wanted to update my planner, make my work schedule, um, turn in my work schedule. And here is my work schedule. I pretty much go through every quarter and I provide my work um, a schedule. Luckily, I have a very good job where they work around my schedule. This quarter I cut back significantly because obviously it's my last quarter and I don't have time to work that much. So this is my schedule. My um, school provides this for us and pretty much right now I'm going through and I'm highlighting when I have exams, what days I have exams, and now I'm just looking through my days that I have school and my clinicals and all of that. So as you guys know, I love my planner so much. <laughs> so you guys are pretty much going to watch me just get everything organized. So first, I start out by looking at my schedule, which I showed you guys before. And I go through and I write down the times of each class. As you can see, I'm doing that right now. I know it's very repetitive, but I just love the aesthetic and I love the way it looks. So I do this every single time, even though I know what time my classes are. This is just how I do it. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, in pencil, I write when my tests are, as you can see. And then whenever everything's done, I go back and I write very pretty when my tests are and I highlight them, as you'll see. So I go ahead and do this for every single month. So I'm doing April, May, and June because, as you guys know, nursing school is very, very overwhelming. And you don't have time to do this during school. So I take my break time and I make my planner all beautiful. I write when I work and what appointments I have and everything I know for the next three months. Then I go ahead and day dot my important days, which are my test days. And these stickers are from the Twin Mermaids. I love them. I go ahead and I take the exam or the test stickers and I put them when I have exams and then study time also. These are from Erin Condren. and you can get them on her website. They're little sticky notes to make your planner beautiful, of course. And these are also from Erin Condren. It's her sticker book, and there's many, many different stickers in this book. So I go through, and I make it all pretty and add all the stickers I can. So after a long, long time, I am finally done making my planner pretty. But as you can see, I have all the times right now, which days I have clinicals, my test, um, my stickers, of course, my ATI is on here, and when I work. And I do the same thing for each month, like I told you guys. All my appointments are on there. And then that is my last day of class, June 21st. I am so excited. And I wrote little cute notes, like almost there. And then for May, I wrote have faith. And then for April, I wrote, you got this because we got this. We're going to get through nursing school together. Another thing that I do is I go onto my canvas and I unfavorite all of my classes from last quarter because I hate clutter. Then I go through and I rename each class to something that's not crazy numbers and letters. So I just make it very simple and I change the color to color coordinate it because I love the aesthetic. So I go ahead and organize my canvas and then I go to each class and I kind of read through the syllabus and I figure out which days I have things due and then I write those in my planner also. I go ahead and I print out any projects that I have as I'm doing right now. And in this class, unfortunately, I have a couple projects, group projects, which I am not a fan of. So I print all those out, that way I have them on hand, that way I'm not going back and forth trying to find them when I am doing the work. So I do that for each class. Then of course I go and I cross out some of the things that I've done to make myself feel better. And that's a half cross out. So then I got my textbook in, so I went ahead and opened that up. And as you can see I'm having a very hard time opening it, that box was so tight. So this is the comprehensive NCLEX um, ATI book. So I am taking the Comp ATI in two weeks, and this is the book I need. 
And this is Saunders' book, um, the blue one is the Saunders' book, and these are the two textbooks that we're going to need for this quarter. Then I go ahead and I clean up my office and get everything ready for the quarter and make sure that everything's organized because I need things clean and I'm really weird about organization. I can't focus if things aren't organized. And here I'm just showing you guys my little setup. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. The last thing I do is I write on my whiteboard. I try to keep up to date on my whiteboard. Sometimes I struggle if we're super busy, but I write each week and here I'm writing the times because I know I'll forget them when I first start class. But normally I'll write down assignments that are due that week and clinical stuff as well. Of course, I forgot to film my outro, but I love you guys bunches and I'll see you in my next video.